is where Romain Virgo chats and perform tracks from his just released from the day of my life began. fourth studio album as he gets ready to take it to Jamaicans in three locations live St. Anne, Montego Bay, and St. Elizabeth. Right now, right here on our stage, the man himself, the gentleman, Romain Virgo. <laughs> Listen, love, sir. Good things are happening on an entire album. Yes. The gentleman is the name of it. Start gentleman. with that, the name. The gentleman. Well, um, the whole meaning behind the gentleman, you know, and the name, the gentleman. Is basically, you know, I mean, Jamaica would have seen where I'm coming from. Mm -hmm. I'm all together, sing, rising stars, days, and just this, you could call it gentle boy, and this <laughs> no, gentle I approach. Know, gentle man, no. <laughs> this gentle approach to everything. I don't think anyone will disagree that you're a gentleman, Robin. So we just want you to confirm it, that you are, you are a gentleman, <laughs> sir. That's what I know is your MO out there. You're a gentleman. So this I'll, album is your yeah. fourth. Speak to, to how long it took to, for you to bring it together. We've been working on it for years now, mm -hmm. even before the pandemic. You know, we, we've always been recording myself and Nico, and we have this new strategy. You know, we're trying to be, you know, I say it so many times, a little bit more deliberate with how we record music, how we put out music, mm -hmm. you know, so, so people wouldn't see a lot of music all over the place with me. You know, we, we, we deliberately say, you know what, let us try and contain as much as we can and okay. be deliberate. Whatever we put out there, that's what we're mm -hmm. focusing on. Yes. This beautiful album, I would say COVID has impacted the album in a different way because, you know, it opened my mind to so, so many different things and, and to see life from a different angle and just imagine what everybody was going through at that time. Okay. So I just wanted to write from that place, you know, and um, I must say every single song on the album now that was written during COVID just have a different feel to it. Just, as I say, a deeper side of me, just tapping into a deeper okay. side of me. You know, there's a, there's a song on, on the album with myself and Capitan that is, when you listen to that song, you, you know for sure that mm -hmm. you wrote that song during the pandemic. Okay. You know, and I believe that it's a song that will not just speak to that time, but if a time should come like, like that again, you know, it's something that people can turn to. So, you know, that's, that's how we're writing now. That's how we, we try, as we go along, as we grow, you know, we just try to stay as close as possible to where the mindset and that's how we see life. Um, there was a time where I was searching for myself, trying to figure out where I want to take my music, you know, what I should be putting out. Should I be writing music because I can write or because I can sing mm -hmm. or because I can DJ and I can sing J? Or should I be just doing it from a place where it's real and it connects with me? Mm -hmm. and, and I know that once it connects, once um, it will connect with people as well. You know, so that's just basically where we're at as a, as a team. I can't even say we, but it's because, you know, we work together as a team. Myself, yeah. Nico, and any other producer that may come along the way. You know, they have to understand where we are going with, mm -hmm. you know, this music, you know, the direction that we're going. They have to first understand that before we, we do anything, you know, so. I mentioned Capitan earlier. I also have a song with Pato Rankin. I have a song with Jesse Royal, mm -hmm. you know, and um, Massacre. I have a song called Been There Before, which was our last release from the album. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so there's a track queued up for world premiere right here on our stage. Yes. What's, it, what's the name of this one? This one is called Been There Before. It's the first track on the album. It features Massacre. Powerful song. All right, let's take it right here. To be somebody was my heart's desire. Something never stops and no prior. I no pain. Probably was the youth with the worst attire. Back in our school, I sing punk choir. I no pain. From the day my life began, I know a little bit of tears run. Everybody have them own story. This one is for all who want give up and done. Daylight, yeah. Some fight on, strong to stand me to 
expose my thoughts And me no know how me survive Me pill I know the weight of the burden me carrying Every night on my mind The only people me can turn to And be the worst to Life no always fun But better must come This one is for all who are This is the title of that one. And that's burning. That's that's getting love yet. Uh, and radiant thing. <laughs> it's a whole heap of love, man. Um, a whole heap of people just see me in the street and just uh, tell me how much the song bring back memories of them upbringing you know, and all the uh -huh. struggles that them go through. Sometimes the way them play it on the radio, you know, if me I listen to it by myself, you know, it it, it brings tears, you know. And I guess uh, because it's from such a personal point and then you know, does even what Masika is saying in his verse, you can still relate to it. T talk about your credits and the, oh. other, the other credits that you might have carried, like writing and those, and producing and those things? A, a little bit uh, each, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it would, would be more so on the writing side of things, though. Mm -hmm. um, most of the songs, I kind of, you know, like the inspiration would come. Mm -hmm. And, you know, from time to time, we try not to just stick to a song being too personal, yes. but try to write in such a way that others out there can relate to it. You know, so mm -hmm. for example, say, Been There Before, you know, um, when I wrote that song, it was very personal. You know, I was talking about my life growing up and just wow. specific events that happened. Uh, and so Nico said, you know, it's a beautiful song, you know, but I, I believe that we should try and, you know, tweak the, the lyrics a bit. So that other people out there can really feel like, yeah, like this is their song as well. Okay. You know, and, and that's how we approach everything, you know. Um, even with the artists that we select, you know, we want to make sure that, you know, it's artists that, you know, it's almost like, you know, going in the same direction, following the same trend mm -hmm. in a sense. You've been touring <laughs> three specific locations yeah. in Jamaica. Why yes. those? Um, well, first of all, you know, I, I, it, it has always been a dream. Mm. for me to do a show. Yes. You know, um, and the reason why we kind of turn it into a, a, a movement, a tour, is because we feel like most times we, 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 we keep a show and it's just in one location and there are so many people around Jamaica who love to come out and, and be a part of whatever we're, we're pushing out there. Okay. You know, but they don't get that opportunity. Mm. Um, so around the time when everything was planning, you know, uh, Last in Time, which is Protégé's show, yeah. was also already in the making, mm -hmm. you know, and that was in Kingston. So we really and truly wanted to do one in Kingston, one in Centon, which is where I'm from, one in Montego Bay, and then St. Elizabeth, yes. you know, but then, as I say, Last in Time, and that's the reason why we, we, we kind of put a pause on the Kingston show. Um, Centon is where I'm from, mm -hmm. that's home. You know, the love there is, is different. You know, Montego Bay is another place that, you know, the love from day one is just there. Okay. St. Elizabeth is the same thing. People should know that St. Elizabeth is such an important yes. part of, of the, the, the growth in, in, in how people view the music. Yes. You know, um, a, lot of people, a lot of people wouldn't even know that sometimes people travel from overseas and they are in St. Elizabeth. When you, when you go down, like, past Lover's Leap and go down them side there, when you go down there, you have to wonder if I fire in the day, you know? Yeah. Because there are a lot of tourists there, you know, so... And, and, and I mean, if you're from St. Elizabeth, you would know that. But, you know, just to make it clearer, we choose these locations because we know that people from different parishes, you know, would, would be able to... You know, so for example, somebody from Mandeville would be able to just drive, yes. drive go down a lover's leap. Uh, yeah. um, somebody from, say, Trilani, 
can drive to either the center and show or the Montego Bay show. So we, we choose locations. West Milan for St. Lisbeth. Exactly. So the board, the board you know, different parishes can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get but St. Lisbeth deserves this. They don't, they don't get enough, I think. Yeah, we were there in 2022. Yes. Um, same location. And a lot of people didn't get to see the show. Mm. Uh, I guess because of the time that we promoted the show in. And so the, a lot of people were upset. Like they say, how oh, are in St. Elizabeth? I want to know. Mm. So now they get the opportunity to see me again, but not just Romy and Rega doing a show, but we're launching this beautiful album, The Gentleman. And I believe that they're going to, I know, they're mm. going to enjoy this one. Are there plans yet for international touring? Yeah, man. Yes. Um, we're looking forward to um, do a um, North America tour again. You know, we were there last year with Under Road with Berries. Mm -hmm. You know, so we're looking forward to go back this year, especially with this album out. Mm -hmm. um, Europe, mm -hmm. it's been a while we haven't done a Europe tour, especially the festival roads in, in, in Europe. So we're looking forward to that. Um, the Caribbean is somewhere that we're always... Yes, the Caribbean is oh like home, gosh. isn't it? Trust me. Yeah. And we have so many um, upcoming shows in, 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 in the Caribbean coming up as well. And I'm not going to remember everything off the top of my head now. Continent, That's what Africa. Nico, Nico, we look forward. Yes. You know, like, like Africa is, is, is a place that is close to us, especially the fact that we, we, we're always in Kenya and Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. You know, we look forward to go back to, you know, places like, like these and, and, and new territories in Africa. Mm -hmm. You know, um, every time I go there, I feel like a renewed spirit, mm -hmm. a renewed energy. So grateful, grateful for this album. It's a, it's my best project to date, I would say. Yeah. Um, and that is because of the, the freedom that we got in terms of the creative um, effort. I'm so proud of every single song on the album. It was hard to, to make this album a 12 track album. You know, you imagine you, you, do, you do so much songs over time and then you have to narrow it down to 12 songs. Mm -hmm. You know, so we choose songs that, you know, would definitely have different feel, talking about different topics. So, something that the people should really and truly look forward to. And well, it's out yeah. and they can go now, click yeah, and listen. Mm -hmm. Well, look a bit me here, boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's ready for... It's nice, uh, man. It's ready for the world, the entire planet. Everybody can relate to this album. So. Powerful. Uh, the little sneak peek I got. But you're going to perform some for them right here. On yes. The stage. Don't go anywhere yet. Don't move a muscle because we're going to wrap this up. And after that, that's why there's a band on the stand right now. Mm. He's going to perform. And yeah. when, when it comes to Romain Virgo and performance, it's a given that it will be. We can make one big up. Very good. And the show. Right. Yeah, the, these shows that we're doing, um, it wouldn't be possible without Johnny Walker. Mm -hmm. So I just want to take the time out to big up Johnny Walker and the entire crew for, you know, getting on board. It wouldn't be possible without them. You okay. know, so big up Johnny Walker. So what I you know, Johnny person. Walker, you're, you're a, a spokesperson and an ambassador, <laughs> endorsed. Like, no. is, isn't that a first in Jamaica? It, 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 it would be. Yes. You know? That a it is a first. It is, <laughs> is called on to endorse Johnny Walker. Yeah, it is a first, you know? And oh. um, I'm so pleased, you know, to, to be the one. You yeah. know, um, I'm, I'm, whenever we are at a show mm. and the show is done, you know, if you should walk in my dressing room and look on the table in a little corner there, it would be like a bottle of Johnny Walker, you see there. Mm -hmm. That has been from like day one, you know. Mm -hmm. um, it was just the other day we were remembering, you know, when I got married, I gave a bottle of Johnny Walker to everyone at the, the, my bridging them, mm -hmm. you know, um, like signed. So it's been a long journey, even before this connection. Okay. So it's just a blessing now to see everything just aligned. Mm -hmm. I mean, Johnny Walker is a gentleman's drink and um, the album is called The Gentleman. <laughs> and, and, and like it's a journey. This album is a journey and then everything just aligned, you know, so. Okay. Well, um, congratulate you, sir. Yeah, man, give thanks. That's essential. That's progress for Jamaica. Cause of course. I never used to look to reggae artists for those kinds of endorsements. Yeah. <laughs> it's the first for me in terms of any company that has anything to do with Jamaica. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm smiling. <laughs> that's why I'm smiling like this, you know? All right. So the I take it that the album is available. 
yes. uh, online now or on, on various platforms. Yeah, man, it's, it's, it's my fourth album with VP Records and it's available everywhere, mm -hmm. you know, distributed by v VP Records. You know, so big up to VP and the entire team. Mm -hmm. Big up to Michelle here in Jamaica. All that is left now is to just yeah. exit the stage, me that is, <laughs> and give you and your band yeah. the stage to perform for all of us after the break. Thank you. Now this song is gonna switch you on. I can switch you on. Switch you on like a stereo. Turn you all the way up when you feel low. I'm the song that you can't let go. Got me on repeat of the word you know. She love my way to come show to the morning. She hates her dying request, you know, yeah. Every time we come around, you want to see how she smile. I don't want to fight you, mommy, love, but it's all the time. Say I'm always on her mind. She left the line so low, can the light by us. This is on the forehead, that's what yeah. she I'm going to be a hero. Yeah, I'll be that switch, yeah, I'll turn you on. Switch you on. Get you 
And this next song is called Driver. Do I got some beautiful drivers out there? Listen. I say, even if the sky is falling down, walk through the fire, through the flame. Yeah. 
<laughs> she make breakfast in the morning. Then she give me lunch at the day. Then she give me love in the evening. <laughs> Tell me one more I can I say Says she make breakfast in the morning Then lunch at midday Then she give me love in the evening Tell me what more can I Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow. So, that's the love, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. This has got to be the happiest band uh, in music. <laughs> you guys are so happy. Well, I can't imagine what's going to happen. Trust me. Have a nice. In St. Elizabeth, mm -hmm. in Ochoares, yes. in Montego Bay. Beautiful band. And no Kingston. <laughs> well, Kingston, we got a, a piece of it, a piece of it somewhere. Most definitely, so I mean, we just did uh, last winter, mm -hmm. and we, we thought that it wouldn't be wise to do a big show after last winter, like that, you know, like a week away. So we say, you know what? I'll come back. Okay. So, Kingston, don't worry yourself. You're getting your show soon, all right? Mm -hmm. We promise. Okay, sir. All right, we're going to hold him to it for you. All right, uh, so there you have him, the gentleman, Romain Virgo, on our stage and ready for you all over the world. Winford Williams, on behalf of all of us, thanking you for joining us. Do join us again next week for more on stage. <laughs>